Hey guys, what is up? I'm sorry for not posting in a while. It's just I've been really busy trying to care for the Nepenthes and the fly traps. So here's a quick run through of everything. I moved them into the garage. Well, I did, but like a month and a half ago. But, well, two months, but whatever. Um, so everything, it's not looking too good because they're trying to go to sleep. But the reason why half of them are looking not like there should be during dormancy is because my ba my dog came in here. And that's why all this dirt is on the floor. So, that's why they're not looking so good. He knocked this one off yesterday and I was mad. My red dragon isn't doing too well either. It's not because of the temperature. Because I have this thing in here. And it shows you the temperature. It's like... 50, 51 right now, and everything's been going good, it's, there's proof that there's going dormant, and uh, yeah, here's just a quick run through of everything, and I had to move them onto this old dryer, because I had them on that table, but uh, he kept on knocking them off, cause, and I doubt it'll be harder for him to knock it off of this, so, uh, and the one thing um, people say is like, oh, I think my fly trap's dead because, oh, the traps aren't closing. It's like, here, here's an open trap. I'll have this stick. And like, it's not going to close. Well, maybe it's because it just digested after I put it in here. And that trap's lasted a while. Um, because people, fly traps don't usually close whenever they're dormant or they're dying. Either one, so here's the Korean Melody Shark. It's been closing, just not really fast. See, that would have set it off. This one down here. No, not really. But then this one. Yeah, they're not really active right now. They're trying to go to sleep. And I think we'll have dormancy for maybe, um, I'd say maybe four months at most. Maybe, because it usually gets warmer and, I don't know, my math's probably wrong. But anyways, here's everything. They're doing awesome. Uh, this is my only light. I had to get the other light from the Nepenthe since they were tipping towards the thing. And I knew I had to move them into the bedroom, my bedroom, because um, there would be less uh, light on the windowsill. So I'll give you an update on the Nepenthe's 2. So here are all the Nepenthes. As you can see, I got a new grow light. And something new about the Ventrata is it's giving me some basil shoots. I'm pretty sure there's three because I can see three tiny heads. Well, if it'll focus. There. But all of them are... <laughs> this fell once and this one lost almost all of its pictures except for that one. They're starting to come back maybe. The, this one, I moved the heater from right here because it was getting burnt. And, um, I just didn't like that because it's losing all the pictures. There's the big one. But one plant that's really turning out well is the Nepenthes Ventricosa X um, Ampularia. It's been doing good. It's losing one of the pictures down there. And there's starting to be some live sphagnum. There's pictures going on there. I think I accidentally broke that leaf, but it's still starting to form. And there's a new leaf. There's a new growth. That's the latest picture on it. Well, it's the first picture it's gave me. It's kind of tiny. I don't know why. But, oh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to show you. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry for not posting in a while. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.